Hi, uh, welcome to another screencast. Um, today, I will be looking at Alexia or Elixir. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I guess that's it. Um, Elixir is a functional meta programming aware language built on top of Erlang, and I've heard so much about this language, so I've decided to give it a go. The first thing we want to do here is to download the package so we can begin coding for it and what we have to do is simply go to releases and I guess we'll pick the latest one which is 10.2 uh, so we, if you're using Windows I'll recommend you, you to download the pre-compiled version so we just open it and I'm just going to create a folder here called pre-compiled so let's just make things a lot easier uh, folder so what you now do is just copy this over to the e-precompiled folder and uh, the next step is we need the location of our Erlang directory here so if we open the precom now that we're in the Erlang directory we see the bin the lib and the rel what you simply just do is uh, copy and paste everything over and since I have it installed already, we just overwrite it, I guess. Doesn't do much. So continue. Yep, yep. <coughs> Alex has a pretty syntax compared to Erlang. So let's just see how to get started. As you can see, it was pretty easy to install. So the more interesting part is actually typing out some code and seeing how it works so now we have our command prompts running so you open up Alexia we just call IEX so as you can see it looks similar to Erlang and let's try some basic arithmetic so 2 plus 2 4 divided by 2 let's try div if if you've noticed we don't have to put a period sign at the end of each line which it's a pretty good thing because you, you get carried away sometimes with a period with a line and that shows up errors here and there but with this is I can see the advantage of it so let's just continue so 10 divided by 2 as you can see everything is basically similar to Erlang um, Yeah. Let's try something more complex like uh, let's have a is a variable that a is a list that contains five items. So one, two, three, four, five. And yeah. So now we want to get it at ed and tail. So h t h for ed and t for tail equals a and h will give us the first character which is going to be the ed which is, we expect it to be 1 and t will be the rest of the list so as you can see it's similar to Erlang now what about strings so let's say hello world uh, string concatenation so we're going to have well a string is a character array so let's say hello World. Uh, not a character. We have a world uh, list concatenation. So one, two, three, nine, seven, six. Let's try out some boolean. So let's say true. And true is true, true and false, false and true, false and false, false, um, true or false. Ah, true or false is true. So that's it for today. I just wanted a quick overview of Elixir because I'm very interested in it and I'm hoping it will go far 
since uh, concurrency is the big thing now. So till next time, take care.